In this lesson, we'll be calculating standard potentials for electrochemical cells from standard electrode potentials of the half reactions. Now, I know that's a mouthful, but let's get started with the first question. Use tabulated standard electrode potentials to calculate the standard cell potential for the reaction occurring in the electrochemical cell at 25 degrees Celsius. And the balanced chemical equation for this is shown underneath. The first thing that we want to do is begin by separating the half reactions. In this case, you can readily see that aluminum on the reactant side is being oxidized. Remember, aluminum in its solid state has an oxidation state of zero, and it's going from zero to three plus, so it's losing electrons, and that's oxidation. For the reduction half reaction, we notice that we have NO3 minus, and the four hydrogen ions forming NO and two molecules of water. That's the reduction. So let's write this down for clarity and for reference sake. We have the oxidation, aluminum, solid, yielding aluminum 3 plus. And we'll balance the charges in a moment. And the reduction reaction looking like this, where we have NO3 minus plus 4H plus. Both of these are aqueous, yielding NO gas plus. 2H2O liquid. As mentioned, we want to balance the charges, so I'll write down plus three electrons at the top. Over here, I'll write down plus three electrons. That way we have the same charge on both sides. And in cases where it's not as apparent as it was here, where we knew aluminum was being oxidized, you may want to write down the oxidation state for each of the atoms in the reaction, and that will help you determine what's being oxidized and reduced. We got lucky here. The next thing we want to do is look up the standard electrode potentials for each of these half reactions we wrote. And for that, we can use the table underneath. For instance, if we have aluminum solid forming aluminum 3 plus, let's try to look it up here. That is found right here, and I'll highlight it for you. We have aluminum 3 plus and three electrons. I apologize if it's blurry, but we can see that it has an electrode potential of negative 166, and I'll write that down to the right of this reaction. So we have the electrode potential as negative 1.66, and that's volts. For this one, let's find out where NO and two water molecules are. This reaction can be found right here, and as you can see, it has an electrode potential that's positive of 0 0.96 volts. So we're going to add these two equations together where the electrons will cancel out. Take a look, that cancels out with that. And we can calculate the standard cell potential by subtracting the electrode potential of the anode from the electrode potential of the cathode. Let me write down E cell is equal to the electrode potential of the cathode minus that of the anode. Now to determine which of these is at the cathode, the cathode is always the reduction. So we'll take 0 0.96 volts minus this number, 1.66. And I'll write this down that this is the cathode and this is the anode. Using our calculator, 0 0.96 minus negative 1.66 gives us and we want this to two significant figures after the decimal place, 2.62 volts. That right there represents the answer to question number one. If you'd like to see the answer to question number two, make sure that you watch question two of this series where we cover its solution.